Do you know somebody who has been verbally abusive in this school this year? Raise your hand. Are they in here right now? Don't you have to point them out, but you know that you've witnessed somebody be a bully before and they're in this room right now. Raise your hand high. I want to see those hands. Good. Now let me talk to whoever that is. And I don't need to know who you are by name because all of your peers just raised their hands and they identified you. They're thinking about you right now. And I don't know where you are, young gun or hot shot, whatever you, whoever you think you are. I don't care what you look like. I don't care how, how much of an image you want to portray. I want to talk to you and tell you exactly who you are. And every single one of those peers that raised their hands just now, they're thinking of you. And so just because I don't know who you are, they do. And I have the microphone, and I'm going to talk to you real quick, because I know who you are. You come to school, and you want to pick on and step on the ones that don't meet your image. You want to bully and make fun of kids that don't look like you or don't talk like you. But see, I know who you really are. I know who you are when no one's around. I know who you are when it's just you and yourself and your thought process and your home life. I know who you are when you wake up and you roll out of bed and you stand in front of that mirror and you brush your gums. I know who you are. You're a young man or a young woman who does not like what they see in the mirror. You have no self-esteem. You have no self-value. You have no self-worth. You're broken inside. Maybe your home life's tore up. Maybe you don't know what it's like and you don't know how to express your anger or your issues and you don't like what you see. You're trying to chase these images down. You don't like, you don't think you're beautiful. So you, you masquerade and you put on your fake face and you put on your, your fake attitude and you, you struggle with life so you wear a mask because you don't know how to express your pain and your anger, your frustration. So what you do is you come to school and you find a group of friends and those group of friends all are broken just like both of you and you find kids that don't look like you, that don't talk like you. And you make fun of them because you need the last of those around you. You need the self-approval of those around you. Because that's what feeds your self-esteem. That's what feeds your ego. That's what feeds that you think that you have value. Because you don't know how to express the fact that you're broken and you're hurting and you need help. You've lost how to... Communicate with your counselors. You've lost how to communicate with your parents. You don't know how to express the issues that you're having in your life. You're not happy with yourself. And when you look in the mirror, you feel just as broken. But you come to school and you step on the neck of your peers. You step on the neck of those that care about you. This is a family. And you come here and you verbally abuse kids to make yourself feel better. You think it's okay until someone actually loses their life. You think it's all fun and games to one of these people that they represent actually does it. And you know what's going to happen? You'll come in here and every single one of you will bawl. You will cry. You won't know what to do with life because it will have touched your life. These are real issues. See, the person that picks on kids that you see that you're thinking of every day they wake up. I promise you, they wake up and they look in the mirror when they're getting ready for school. They wake up and they look in the mirror before they're getting ready to leave. They see the reflection in places. And at the end of the day, they really want to hide from it. You know why? Because they don't like who they are. Maybe they come from a broken family and they got issues at home that aren't going well. Maybe they've made a lot of poor choices and their grades are failing. But the pro- the reality of it is they don't like who they are as a person. Maybe they don't like their weight. Maybe they don't like their hair color or their skin color. Maybe they think their nose is too big or their voice sounds weird or strange or different. And they, they're trying to be other things to other people. But at the end of the day, the person that's picking on kids in here, they don't have self-worth. They don't have self-value. They don't have self-respect. And they don't like who they are. What happens is, is when we wear the mask, we're not dealing with the things below the surface. If you don't begin to address some of those internal things with talking to safe systems of care, and when I say that, I'm talking about teachers and counselors and parents and people in the community, uh, people that you know, even best friends, people that you can confide in and to begin to talk and to process some of your hurts and your pains and your emotional struggles. Because if you don't, the pressure is going to find its way out. You see, communicating... And talking about these things, it's the healthiest, safest way for us to constantly alleviate that pressure. But what happens is, is we're wearing masks, and so that pressure builds, 
And it needs to find a way out. So some of us turn to thoughts of giving up. Some of us turn to thoughts of self-harming. Some of us turn to picking on kids and bullying kids. Because honestly, hurting people hurt people. And so for all of you, sometimes I feel like you're broken. For all of you, sometimes I feel like you've made too many mistakes. For all of you, sometimes I feel like you're a failure. Like you need to understand something like regardless of what you've been through, regardless of what some of the things in your life that seem broken and they seem like they're just, they're in shambles and like nobody understands you and that you feel alone, you're a failure and you feel like you can't achieve or, and you feel like people have labeled you. At the end of the day, everything that you've been through, I just need to challenge you like to do it afraid. Color your picture because broken crowns color just as beautiful as brand new ones. And I know some of us in here, you're like, Nate, bro. Yeah, man, you're right. But my community's already labeled me. People have already written me off. You don't know my story. You don't know about what's happened to me here. You're right, man. But I do know that you matter. And I do know that you have friends around you. And I do know that you have counselors and teachers and people surrounding you. And you don't have to do this on your own. But you will never get there, ever, by stepping on the necks of others around you. You will never get there by picking on kids and making fun of kids. Because here's what's going to happen. Until you begin to face your real issues, until you begin to recognize, you know what, I'm not okay, and take off the mask and take off the fake image and, and portraying to be this dude that you're, or this chick that you're really not, until you begin to face some of the things that you're struggling with and talking to counselors and teachers and parents, talking to somebody that cares about you and that believes in you, until you talk about it, you're never going to change, man. Listen to me, man. I get passionate about these things, not because, you know what, this is just my job. Like, I live this, man. Like, I don't want any of you in here to have to go through and make the mistakes and the journeys that I made. Take control of your life. There's too much world out there for you to just exist. We are born to experience life. You were born to be better, to achieve better, to become better, so you can experience more. But just like my daddy told me when I was a kid, no one's going to spoon feed this to you. You've got to take control of your life and that's just facts I know we always hear sticks and stones can break your bone but words can never hurt that's not true that's not true that's not true words hurt do they not words hurt it is a natural thing for every one of us to want to feel respected want to feel loved and want to feel valued and not invisible to somebody and I know I sound aggressive when I'm talking about bullying or how I like to call it as verbal, mental, or emotional abuse, but it's because I care about you and you're never going to reach your full potential until you take off your mask. You're never going to fulfill your destiny until you get to the root of why you treat us the way you treat us. You're walking wounded. You are valuable. You have worth. You're not alone, but you have to find the courage to begin to talk about your hurts and your pains. I promise you, you were born to leave your fingerprints on history.